but no, my favorite is una dona, the dona, we used to call it la dona. Uh, una piedra, un cuerno, campechana, uh, las conchas. Uh, there was this uh, panadero, very lonely, so he made one, and he called it un beso, the kiss. So when a young lady would come up, he would say, uh, uh, how can I help you? And she would say, pues, quiero un beso. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> so, all right, pan dulce. I remember riding my fenderless bike to la panadria del pueblo. Sometimes I would go alone. Sometimes I would dream I took a pueblo by the hand. I remember pan dulce, tasting even sweeter after confessing my sins at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. Nothing like dulcified bread for crucified bones. <laughs> I remember standing in front of the glass this place, telling El Panetero, I'll take one of these, and, and one of those, and one of these. Unlike the cool Pachuco, who came in asking for pan de polvo, un regalo, y un hueso azucarado, to go. I had not mastered the names of pan dulce. So imagine my thrill. Imagine the authority in my chavalon bones when I return asking for dos huesos azucarados, two sugared bones to go. Yes, I remember pan dulce, la Virgen de Guadalupe bordered by blue neon lights, and how the smell of canela reminded me of abuelitos pelocillo skin. If you go to La Polanita, La Virgen is there, and there's neon, and if you're lucky, they'll plug her in and provide something. <laughs>